Welcome to your weekly UAS News Update. We have three stories for you this week. Teal Drones that wins the Army SRR program, a special deal on our courses, and then more mysterious drones that fly over bases. And then lastly, the DJI 04 air unit that uh, may have been leaked. But before we get started with the news, I wanted to share a note of support to our friend, um, industry friend, Romeo Dercher. Uh, he's been going through a pretty difficult journey, I would say a very difficult journey. And we wish him a lot of love and support. Now, for those of you that know Romeo, you know how much he has done for this industry. Now, for those of you that don't know what he's done, um, he's been a pioneer, mentor, visionary, most of all, in this space for well over a decade, especially in the public safety side of drones. Now, the many ways that we use drones in that field today were made possible due to his efforts over the years. I have cherished my time uh, talking to him at trade shows and on the Pixel Drone Show. I sincerely want to say thank you for everything you've done for this industry. Let's get to the news this week with our first story, which is Teal that secured the contract for the US Army, what's called a Short Range Reconnaissance Program, the SRR program. Now the Teal Black Widow was determined by the Army to be the most capable and in line with their needs. Now, if you're not familiar with the Teal and the Black Widow, it's a 3.6 pound quadcopter that has a EO and an IR payload. Uh, capable of doing 4K at 30 frames per second, 640 thermal, 35 minutes of flight time, uh, can fly in GPS denied uh, environment, and also has optional secondary payload. Uh, the Salt Lake City based company was selected over the California based Skydio. Uh, Teal has been around since 2014, making drones uh, in that area of Utah. Now, it's unclear at this point what the total award money was for the contract, but the program requires Teal to deliver 5,880 systems over the next five years. The previous award that uh, for this contract was uh, nearly $100 million over five years. So we'll see how this shakes up the industry, but uh, congratulations to Teal. And now a segue to our sponsor. No, just kidding. But let's take a quick break to talk about something that's very exciting, which is our biggest Black Friday sale ever. And I know people say that, but it truly is our biggest Black Friday sale ever. Uh, you can actually save up to 50% on our drone and airplane classes. Now, these deals won't last very long, so make sure that you click the link in the comments to grab the discount today. And then now back to the news. Next up, we have a military base in New Jersey that experienced a flyover, not drones flying away, but drones flying over the base uh, by several large drones this week. Uh, this is very similar to the event that we talked about a few weeks ago, uh, except that this event seems that it is a one-off rather than over multiple days, although the week is still pretty young. Uh, it's unclear at this stage what the aircraft actually are, uh, where they originated from and what the actual mission was. Uh, there are several videos that have surfaced on X, but don't really show much of anything other than a bunch of lights in the sky. While the drones flew over the base, it appears that the New Jersey State Police helicopter uh, was able to work to track the drones as they were circling over the base several times. And we'll keep you updated as we see more, but this is uh, always kind of weird news when we see these things happening and we're not able to track who it is, where the drones are going, and everything in between. Last up, the DJI 04 unit has been leaked. Now, if you're not familiar with the 04 unit, it's a unit that is a standalone unit that you can put, for example, in an FPV drone. Now, it appears that it comes in two different versions, a standard and a pro. Uh, the standard version would have what looks like a single piece camera unit, while the pro would have a larger cooling setup uh, with multiple antennas. Now, rumors have that it has been upgraded to include a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, better cooling, of 30 milliseconds of latency, and potentially 1080, 100 frames per second transmitted video. Uh, again, we'll keep you updated if we see more, but uh, this is always exciting for people that build their own drones or want to use these units on something else. And that's all we have for you this week. We'll see you again later in the community for happy hour. And if not, we'll see you on Monday for the live Q&A.